Yo, what's up guys, DJ Hoops, back in another video. Um, this one's a little late, but we are on it now. We got a Celtics recap once again. Mavericks played the Celtics in Boston on KG's um, number retirement night on Sunday. And this one was a rough game for the Celtics. We really struggled, especially that second quarter. And uh, the Mavs coming to Boston, they win this one. Very close game, 95-92. We're gonna go over um, this game. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. So coming into this one, both these teams have been playing real, real well. Um, both fifth seeds in their respective conferences. Um, Mavericks, I think they were like, we have like the same record as them, both the Celtics and the Mavericks, since the start of the new calendar year. Um, I think it's like 24 and 8 or something. So both of the Celtics and the Mavericks have been playing real well. So a lot of guys stepping up um, for each of these teams. And uh, that's what happened here tonight, especially for the Mavericks. They really, uh, it was that third quarter, actually. Um, I said it was the second quarter, but it was that third quarter that um, the Mavericks, uh, they really... Uh, executed on the offensive end. They started hitting their threes, especially um, Dorian Finney-Smith, who's been playing real, real, real well for this team. He had a big second half. He scored, like, almost all of his points in the second half. Uh, we all know what Luka can do. He's had a um, couple game winners in his career against the Celtics. Uh, he's just a... He's, he's good, man. And uh, he was able to... Uh, him in the help of Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, who hit a very clutch game-winning three, go-ahead three. Um, very controversial call at the end. Um, Marcus Smart thought he got fouled, but they overturned it um, after Jason Kidd and the Mavericks challenged the call. So the Celtics lose this one, ending their five-game winning streak. It was a rough game. We only shot 37% from the field. Um, Especially Jalen Brown's been really struggling with his shot. I think he's shooting like 25% from three since the like all-star break. So he needs to step it up. Um, he had a nice dunk, had a nice pass. Um, but other than that, I think we're, we got to uh, see more from JB. Tatum, uh, a little bit rough. No one had um, their shot really fallen. We need Derek White to step it up on offensive end. Uh, Smart's been playing really well. Didn't really have that much of a, a good game this game but I think uh, we just got to find a way to execute against these good defensive teams the Mavericks another great team that um, can switch very well on defense and uh, uh, just a overall uh, disappointing loss but we do have a very tough schedule coming up against the Warriors, a little bit of a West Coast trip. We got the Warriors, Kings, Nuggets, um, and overall just the rest of the year, uh, some tough games. So we need to, uh, be able to close this year out, try to, uh, move at least to that four seed. That would be really nice. And we're only at one and a half games out of the two spots. So, uh, this final, uh, uh, like 14 games, I believe that is, uh, 13, 14 games. Uh, just try to build good habits for the playoffs. Uh, try to just stay attached defensively, which that first quarter did pretty well. Um, both teams did defensively. Uh, just that third quarter, we need to do better there. Uh, the Mavericks held a scoreless for like the last two and a half minutes of the game. Really uh, helped them out. They, they really are uh, a team that I think that if they execute like this, Jalen Brunson, Spencer Dinwiddie, um, Dorian Finney-Smith, help out Luka, um, take a load off of his hands. Um, uh, the Mavericks might be able to win a playoff series for the first time since 2011. Uh, we all know Luka is playing like an MVP right now. He's having like 35-point games left and right. But... uh. Tatum, 21 points. He, he was shut down most of that second half. Uh, he was very efficient that like five game stretch. Um, until these past two games, uh, they've been, uh, able to stop him from, uh, making shots like he was. But I, I think Tatum, uh, 
kid uh, bounce back. Gonna need a big one from him, JB, and the team against the Warriors on Wednesday. And this one is in Golden State in San Francisco at uh, the Chase Center. So that's gonna be a tough one. Warriors, they were struggling a little, but they um, now picked up. I think they're on a three-game winning streak now. So we're going to have to be able to stop them. Uh, Jordan Poole has been playing really well for them lately. Um, he's been really good. And uh, Clay Thompson coming up that big game. So stay tuned for that one. I'll have a recap for that, definitely. Uh, I'm sorry this one came out a little late. Uh, it was just a little busy. But we got um, NBA reactions um, coming. And go check out the second channel if you all haven't. I've been uh, getting into editing a little. So I made some like NBA uh, mixes. So check those out. And we're going to try to like stream a little too on that second channel. We were streaming uh, last year on here uh, a couple times. But never got into it consistently. I'm trying to get better at different things. Um, but make sure in the comments leave below what you w would want to see. Because I'm trying to like mix up things. Um, definitely want to uh, keep reacting to videos though. I, I really enjoy doing that for y'all. Um, Appreciate y'all for watching. Um, take it easy. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.